Okay, typically we'll mark out for the bird's mouth. And in this case, the peak is 40 degrees. So this complementary cut here is also 40 degrees. So we didn't have to change our rotary table. Now, if you use the chainsaw, you can use the top of the bar or the bottom. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, to complete our bird's mouth cut, we know that we just cut 40 degrees. So 40 and 50 make 90, so we're going to set our rotary table at 50 degrees for the second cut. Typically, when you cut a bird's mouth with a circular saw, you'll tend to overcut or you'll stop short and you have to finish the cut by hand. This is all time consuming and uh, it's really unnecessary. And I just want to say now that you've had a chance to see part of our system, I'm wondering what you're going to do with all the time you're going to save. I know. Put some, put some ribs on the grill. Kick back and have a couple cold beers. How's that? <laughs>